Hey, this is Professor Perez from Saddleback College. Today, we're going to work on problems that have multiplication with fractions. Oh, what fun! In part one of this video, we're also going to use number lines to try to give a visual representation of what we're actually doing. And then in part two, we're just going to run to the calculations. So, before we get started, let's get out Charlie. He better be ready to go. Hey, Charlie, you ready to go? <laughs> All right. Doing some more fractions. So here we go, right there. Two thirds times four, Charlie. Now, you remember when we first introduced multiplication, we introduced it as addition. So I don't want the answer. I want to know what does two thirds times four actually mean? Two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds. That's right. Now notice. All the denominators are the same. Remember, whenever you're adding or subtracting fractions, you must have all the denominators the same. Okay, Charlie, so how do we add these fractions together? What do we do? Put a bar with the three on the bottom. Okay, fraction bar with a three. And now we're supposed to add numerators. So let's bring out our number line and let's do it on the number line. We're going to take two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds plus two thirds. And what do we get, Charlie? Eight thirds. 8 thirds, and there's the arithmetic right there, right? Okay, now let's do the same problem, but we're just going to run through the arithmetic. Now, 2 thirds times 4, Charlie, first of all, how do we write 4 as a fraction? 4 over 1. Put it over 1, that's right, because 4 divided by 1 is 4. Now, how do we multiply fractions, Charlie? Straight, straight across, across the top, the top straight across, straight across, the, across bottom. the bottom. That's right, that's what we do. Well, notice, We'll put our fraction bar there. Now, let's look at the denominator first. 3 times 1. What is 3 times 1, Charlie? 3. 3, of course. The denominator is going to remain the same whenever you take a fraction by a whole number. Because when you write the whole number as a fraction, you're going to have a 1 on the bottom. So obviously, 3 times 1 is going to keep the denominator as 3. And what's 2 times 4, Charlie? 8. 8 thirds, and there you have it. So our answer is 8 thirds. So here we did it with the number line, and over here we did it with arithmetic. Now, in part two of this video, we're just going to do the arithmetic part, so. But in this video, we're going to do some, use some number lines. Okay, Charlie, let's go to another problem right there. Here is a number line, right? Here's zero, and there's four. Now, we're going to look at one-third times four. Now, some people like to say this as a word statement, and they say one-third of four. What is one-third of four? Well, what does that mean? That means take four and break it up into three pieces. And that's what we did right here, right? Now, Charlie, what do you think one-third of the four is? Four-thirds? That's right. It is four-thirds. Now, let's look at multiplication, one-third times four, as an addition problem. What does one-third times four actually mean, Charlie? One third plus one third plus one third plus one That's third. That's right. Four of them being added together. Now let's do the arithmetic. We have one third. How do you write four as a fraction, Charlie? Four over one. That's right. And then you multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. And what's one times four, Charlie? Four. And three times one? Three. That's right. It is four thirds. So. One third times four is four thirds, or you can say one third of four is four thirds. So we use a number line for it. Now, Charlie, here's a question for you. If one third of the four is four thirds, what is two thirds of a four? Eight thirds. Should be eight thirds, right? Well, let's work it out. Two thirds times four. You can say it as a word statement, two thirds of four. How do you write four as a fraction, Charlie? Four over one. That's right. Multiply straight across the top and straight across the bottom. What's two times four? Eight. And what's three times one? Three. It is eight thirds. So there you go. Two thirds times four is eight thirds. Or two thirds of four as a word statement is eight thirds. All right, Charlie. So one third of four is four thirds. Two thirds of four is eight thirds. What's three thirds of four? Twelve thirds? Yeah, it should be twelve thirds because basically that's three-thirds times four means one times four. It should be four, but let's do the arithmetic. Write four as a fraction. Multiply across the top, across the bottom, and you'll see three times four is 12, three times one is three, and you do get 12 thirds. 
There's a pattern here, right? Here's one third of four, two thirds of four, three thirds of four. Now, Charlie, what's four thirds times four? Based on what we've seen here, what should four thirds times four be? 16 thirds? It should be 16 thirds, that's right. Well, let's do it. Four thirds times four over one, multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, and you do get 16 over three. There it is, it is 16 thirds. Now, yes, Charlie, what's your question? What about the zero? All right, what about the zero? Well, let's do zero thirds of four. <clears throat> now, Charlie, what does zero divided by three equal? We talked about this when we did division. Zero divided by three is what? Zero is zero, but we're writing it as a fraction, zero over three. Remember, zero on the top and a non-zero number on the bottom of a fraction means it's zero. Okay, Charlie, how to write four as a fraction? Four over one and multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, and notice we get zero over three, which is zero. So this is what we did, Charlie. Watch, zero thirds of four, or zero times four is zero. One third of four is four thirds. Two thirds of four is eight thirds. Three thirds of four is 12 thirds, which is four. And four thirds of four is 16 thirds or four-thirds times four, rather. Okay, let's move on, Charlie. Let's do one-half times eight-thirds. Now, before we do this, Charlie, suppose you have eight apples, and somebody takes half of your apples away. How many apples do you have? Four apples. That's right. So, if you had eight-thirds, and somebody took half of your eight-thirds away, how many thirds do you have? Four-thirds should be four-thirds, that's right. As a word statement, a half of eight-thirds should be four-thirds. Same thing, a half times eight-thirds should be four-thirds. Well, let's do some of the arithmetic here, and let's use a number line. There's eight-thirds over there, Charlie. Now, half of eight-thirds means break it up into two pieces, and each piece should be four-thirds, right? That's what we were just thinking about. Well. Let's move over on the number line to half of eight-thirds, which should be four-thirds. All right, let's do the arithmetic now. We multiply straight across the top, straight across the bottom, and notice, what's one times eight, Charlie? Eight. And what's two times three? Six. We get six. So we have eight-six. Well, look at your number lines here. Eight-six reduces to what? Four-thirds. Four-thirds, that's right. So. Remember the last videos we're reducing. Now, what number divides evenly into an eight and a six, Charlie? Two. A two, so we'll divide top and bottom by two. Remember, whatever you divide the top by, you must divide the bottom by the same number. And what's eight divided by two? Four. And six divided by two? Three. Is three. So, one half times eight thirds, or a half of eight thirds, is four thirds. There it is in the arithmetic, there it is on the number line. All right. Well, let's do the arithmetic again, and we'll be doing a lot of this in the next video, part two. Now watch, Charlie. One half times eight thirds. What we're gonna do is we're gonna reduce before we multiply across the top and across the bottom. Now, some people refer to this as cross-canceling. Watch, you'll see what I mean. When you reduce fractions, Charlie, remember, you have to have a number from the top, and you must have a number from the bottom, right? Now notice, we have an eight and a two. Both eight and two are div both divisible by two, right? And so watch, eight, we're gonna divide that eight by two and two divided by two. And what's eight divided by two, Charlie? Four. And two divided by two? One is one. So notice on top, remember we multiply straight across the top, on top we have a one times a four, Charlie. And on the bottom, we have one times a three. And notice we're gonna continue our work. What's one times four? Four. And one times three, three, and we get four thirds. So we're gonna do a lot of those problems in the next part two video.